A Charlie Brown Christmas was the Peanut Gang's first TV special ever made, and before it aired in 1965, the Peanut characters had mainly been featured as animated characters in Ford TV commercials. Since the Peanut characters were still predominantly comic book characters, it wasn't on any of the creators' minds to make a 20-minute animated cartoon TV special. However, all of that changed when the Coca-Cola representative called executive producer Lee Mendelson and asked if they had a Peanuts Christmas special in the works. Well, they didn't, but he said yes anyway, thinking that they'd have a few weeks to come up with a story. However, he was blindsided when they asked to see a draft of the story in just five days. That beautiful sound of cold, hard cash. Charles Schulz, Lee Mendelssohn, and the director Bill Melendez all met up soon after the phone call and created the story for the cartoon in just one afternoon. The day after the deadline, Coca-Cola called them back with surprising news that not only did they like their story, but they also wanted it to be ready to air in just six months. Now look, if we're ever to get this play off the ground, we've got to have some cooperation. This was the first time Charles Schulz's team ever had to consider what a Peanuts cartoon sounded like. So for the soundtrack, they decided to go with jazz, because they thought it had a sound that could appeal to both kids and adults alike. They hired Vince Guaraldi to write the music, and after Vince spent some time working on some ideas, he quickly called up Lee Mendelssohn to tell him he needed to hear something right away. Mendelssohn asked if it could wait because he preferred to hear it in person, but Guaraldi insisted on playing it over the phone because he was afraid he'd forget if they waited any longer, and the song Guaraldi played for him was the now famous Charlie Brown theme song, Linus and Lucy. Another famous piece of music that came from the cartoon is the song Christmas Time Is Here. Christmas time is here. Originally it was going to be an instrumental piece, but Lee Mendelssohn thought they also needed to have a song to go with the special. He first searched for a lyricist to write the song, but he wasn't able to find anyone who could do it, so he decided to sit down and try to write the lyrics himself, and he wrote all the words to the song you hear in the cartoon in just 15 minutes. There's a missing scene when Charlie Brown gets flung into a tree where the movie title appears, but we never see what happens to Linus, because in the original airing he crashed into a Coca-Cola sign, which now has to be edited out since they're no longer the sponsor of the cartoon. Back then it was a common practice to have adults provide the voices for cartoon characters, but for a Charlie Brown Christmas the animators used kid actors instead, because they were adamant about the voices needing to match their characters' ages. Peter Robbins and Christopher Shea, who voiced Charlie Brown and Linus respectively, were the only professional actors hired to do the voices. The rest of the kids were voiced by non-professionals, some as young as four or five years old, so they often had to be fed their lines one at a time to get a good recording. That's right! What about my part? One of the unique challenges the animators faced while turning their comic strip characters into animated talking characters was what to do about Snoopy's voice. In the meantime, Bill Melendez filled in by doing all of Snoopy's sounds as a placeholder while they looked for someone else. Ah. However, as time went on, everyone thought he did a pretty good job at it, so they left his sounds in the movie instead. How about a cow? Ah. When the network saw the final cut of the special before putting it on the air, they didn't like it at all because it came across to them as an amateur production due largely to the music and the kid actors. <laughs> the networks were only going to put it on the air once to fulfill the contractual agreement and then never air it again. However, they were surprised that it became a huge hit and was the second most watched show of the week and soon after, the networks ordered bookings to air the special for the next 15 years. Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown! Not only that, but A Charlie Brown Christmas went on to win an Emmy, a Peabody Award, and has been running on TV every year at Christmas time since its first run in 1965. Isn't there anyone who knows what Christmas is all about? When the TV special first aired, it stirred up some controversy over its inclusion of Bible verses. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy. One of the reasons behind the criticism was that some people thought cartoons were an inappropriate place for such sacred words to be used. However, the animation team, even Bill Melendez, who said he didn't know anything about the religious side of Christmas, argued that they were needed because they evoked the best qualities of Christmas's religious experience, which for Charlie Brown was the true meaning of Christmas. 
Whether you have a religious background or not, let me know down in the comments what the true meaning of Christmas is to you. And as always, if you'd like to learn more fun facts about other movies on the channel, click on one of the videos you see on the screen or down in the descriptions, and don't forget to subscribe to learn more fun facts about your favorite films.